All right, second stand of the night. We finally got a dog down. Uh, the first stand was, uh, didn't really produce anything. Had a bunch of howling, had to move on them, but uh, couldn't get anything down. But uh, just about three or four miles up the road. Had pretty good luck on this farm. It's just a, a cut cornfield. And uh, this place right here, it, it holds coyotes. And uh, pulled up, let out a couple of uh, Rick Paulettes, a Lonely Widow, and uh, had this one here answer me. He was deep in these woods over here, you can't see, but deep in the woods. And uh, that's all I played. Played a couple of uh, couple of howls, and this one came right in. Pretty one. Yeah, it came in and it stopped and uh, tried to get it come in a little bit closer. Played some uh, tough titty. It didn't want anything to do with it. It's kind of stood its ground and. Dropped her out here. Dropped him out here. Oh. Younger dog. Pretty dog though. But uh, we have a good drag out of here. So we're gonna get this thing loaded up, head to the next spot. But uh, Yep, Lonely Widow, Long House, and didn't want anything to do with the pup distress, so just had to drop her all the way out here. I didn't really want to, but oh well, here we go. We're going to get the old cowdy cord and put her to work, and hopefully I will see you all here shortly on the next stand. Had a cold front come through, and taking advantage of it so let me get this thing drug out and thanks for watching Alright guys, just knocked down the second dog of the night. Uh, started this stand with uh, Rick Pletch, Lonely Widow, once again. And I had them going nuts. Um, you can't see, but they were, they were behind me, they were to the side of me, in front of me. And they were just howling, going nuts, and played some uh, tough titty brought one in about I don't know how far that hillside is it's good 300 yards and it uh, made its way to this to these uh, thick woods here nothing came out switched it up to den raid and this one right here actually blindsided me it came from the opposite direction so this is a totally different dog Den raid. Another big meal. Yeah, I think this is where I shot it. Let the air out of that one. But uh, another good size meal. 
um, this is going to be a happy landowner. She's been uh, posting on Facebook that the coyotes are at it again, and she has her hands full with these things. She has all kinds of uh, animals around here. She's got, she has horses, she has uh, guineas, ducks, turkeys. <laughs> the whole time I was calling earlier, that turkey was back there hammering. But on the downside, uh, there will be no thermal footage for this one right here. Uh, my my memory filled up on my scope, so uh, we're not gonna let that stop us. We're gonna keep hammering them, and uh, I think we want to do maybe a couple more stands and call it a night. Be back at it again tomorrow night. But uh, yeah, the, this one came in to to den raid. That's a that's a killer sound. So we're gonna. It's a pretty good drag out of here, but it's all it's all downhill. So thank God for that. But uh, hopefully we will see you here shortly. Again, there won't be no thermal footage from if I kill something on the next stand. There won't be no thermal footage. So, um, but we are out here killing. So uh, just wish me luck and thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, third dog of the night just took a dirt nap. There's my rough neck. I just had it pointed out here on this, uh, it's a, it's a cattle lot, big pond. I've killed several out here day and night. And like I said earlier, I'm sorry, but the, the there was no thermal footage. Um, I couldn't save it because the memory card's full. But this would have been an awesome video for you all. They were going nuts and called it in. I was hoping it would cross this gate right here. And I can just shoot it right in front of me. But it actually went up underneath this gate. Try to win me, but it didn't work. Let's see how we get in this. Here we go. But, um. Uh, I'm just sticking with what works. I've been been using uh, Rick Paulette's Lonely Widow. Uh, where is this thing at? Right here. But uh, yeah, that's all I did. Just just howls, and they were answering back, and I just kind of broke my howls up, and yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I domed this one. Yep. She did not like that lonely widow at all. But uh it out. It's an older dog. Yeah, I turned his head into her head. <coughs> turned it into jello. But uh Yep, just did some Lonely Widow female house. That's all it took. After the shot, I got some howling right now, way back here. But uh, this is the same farm in a previous video where um, these things got a hold of a calf and killed it, and he's been having a heck of a time. So I'll, I'll shoot him a message in the morning and. I'm sure he's going to be thrilled. But yeah, what's working for me tonight is this Lonely Widow. That seems to be doing the trick. It's toward the end of breeding season, so... They're still, uh... They're still answering to the... To the house and coming in pretty good. But, uh... I'm going to get this one dragged out. Put her, put her on the rack and... This might be my last stand for the night and give it another shot. Uh, give it another shot in the morning. Or not in the morning, but uh, tomorrow.
tomorrow night. So, uh, yep, three dogs down tonight, four stands, hard to beat. I just wish I, just wish I had some memory space on my scope. This, this has been some awesome footage. But, uh, anyways, hopefully see y'all tomorrow night, and thanks for watching.